welcome to chemistry corner in today's class we will see class 10 activity based questions okay let us see the question first a white solid when dropped in water produces a hissing sound what the solid may be give the chemical reaction for the above name the product formed what type of reaction takes place now this is a question in this question only one sentence is given following that there are four questions the sentence is a white solid so the color you must note down white solid and the second indication is hissing sound so this two is the indication to find the solid substances so based on that in your book this activity 1.4 you would have been read in the ncrt book activity 1.4 using this activity only this question came so in this activity you would have been seen that a white solid is quick climb cao when the cao is dropped in water it produces liquid lime and plus heat and when it is dissolving a hissing sound will be produced let us see the equation for the second question give the chemical reaction for the above so reaction is cao plus h2o gives caoh twice plus heat once again cao plus h2o gives caoh twice plus heat okay now the third question is name the product formed so the product is caoh twice the name of the product is liquid lime okay what is the type of reaction taking place the type of reaction is combination and as well as exothermic as heat energy is given out it is exothermic so in almost all the equation all the activity based question after the equation what type of reaction takes place so in order to know that type of reaction there is a hint for this let us see the hint how to find out the type of reaction so if a plus b gives a c this type of reaction you can see in the product side only a single product is formed so then it is combination reaction when a single product is formed combination reaction okay now let us see the next one a gives b plus c so in this left hand side reactant side only one substance is there so when a single reactant is there then the reaction is decomposition reaction single reactant decomposition reaction okay now the next one a plus bc gives ac plus b so in this if the metal a is more reactive than b then displacement reaction takes place a displaces b so it is a displacement reaction now the next one both are compound you can see both are compound so ac plus bd so now they are exchanging the partners now a instead of c exchanged with the d so ad the same way b exchanges with the c so bc so when there is an exchange of ions or exchange of partners then it is double displacement reaction mostly double displacement reactions are precipitation reactions okay now next two more type exothermic as well as endothermic so if it is exothermic the heat energy is given out so reactant gives from product plus heat then it is exothermic reaction other one endothermic reaction in this heat energy or any form of energy is needed for the reaction to take place then it is endothermic reaction so your reactant plus heat gives product then endothermic reaction so totally combination decomposition displacement double displacement and then exothermic and endothermic reactions okay let us see the next activity how to solve now the next activity is when a solution of potassium iodide is added to a solution of lead nitrate taken in a test tube and reaction takes place this is a sentence given you can see two solutions are taken in this and now the question is what type of reaction is this write a balanced chemical equation to represent the above reaction c part is what do you observe 
as soon as the two solutions are mixed together now in your book the activity 1.2 ncert book activity 1.2 so if you are read this you can are able to answer this question from that activity only this question is asked so in this now two solutions are mixed potassium iodide and lead nitrate when both are compound exchange of partners takes place so it is a double displacement reaction mostly the double displacement reactions also precipitation reaction so let us see the equation this equation is not given in your book you want to note down after this activity near the activity you want to note down this equation lead nitrate pbno3 twice plus lead lead next potassium iodide you can see 2 ki so lead nitrate plus potassium iodide both are mixed both are solutions lead nitrate is pbno3 twice and potassium iodide is ki when this two are mixed immediately you are able to see an yellow precipitate of lead iodide they are exchanging their partners lead now exchanged with iodide and potassium k exchanged with nitrate ion so now exchange of ions taken place so the products are pbi2 which is a precipitate so downward arrow mark is mentioned to represent the precipitate plus 2 kno3 so the full equation i'll read out now pbno3 twice plus 2 ki gives pbi2 plus 2 kno3 in this yellow precipitate is due to lead iodide compound so the question is what is the color of this precipitate also what do you get as soon as you mix this two solution that is yellow precipitate the color also we have to mention the precipitate is yellow okay now it is activity 1.2 we are finished now let us see the next activity so in your book activity number 1.8 okay in this activity a window will be shown you are seen in your book so now question from that activity is take 2 g silver chloride in a china dish and place it in sunlight so this is the statement now questions observe the color of silver chloride after some time next question what type of reaction takes place write the chemical reaction for the above observation okay this is based on activity 1.8 in your book so first question observe the color so white color silver chloride at the beginning silver chloride is white in color so when you are placed near the sunlight it turns gray after some time in sunlight so white silver chloride turns to gray color next what type of reaction it is so you are taking only silver chloride one substance only you are taking so it is decomposition reaction single reactant so decomposition reaction now chemical equation for this 2 agcl in presence of sunlight gives 2 ag plus cl2 here the gray color is because of silver silver is gray in color at the beginning silver chloride which is white in color in the presence of sunlight it changes to gray silver so like this all the activities in your book you must be reading and you understand it and the question definitely will come from any of the activity thank you children